Yay. That's it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Great clapping. Just wanted you for that picture. Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. I'm Rand Chandler, but I'm not a real reject? Or yeah, I'm a you, guest you, real reject? You're a guest, guest, you're guest reject. reject. Okay. You, honorary reject. Honorary we'll go with that. for today. Video podcast time. I figured who better to join us here than Miss Movies herself because mm -hmm. uh, she has a lot of podcasting experience. And uh, we got some touchy subjects we're going to talk about. And uh, this video today is going to be a fun one. It's actually requested because one of our top awards here is Brianne on Patreon. Yes. Patreon, I'm familiar. You're familiar. Patreon. You used to help run something like that. I did. Is whatever video you request, we must definitely do and put up on YouTube. And uh, every once in a while, we get a discussion based one. And today is a discussion based one. And it comes from Eric Horstman. He's the guy who got that real rejects tattoo. Wow. Hashtag hopefully no regrets. No <laughs> regrets. Regrets, yeah. I like that which, one. Which, fun fact, that guy from that movie, uh, we, we actually used to know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Were the Millers, yeah. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Anywho, he has a fun topic. Eric is an openly gay man. I'll lead with that. I love you, Eric. Well done. I would do things with you if I was gay. See? That's how you get the gay community, Brianne. Sure. I was going to learn okay. a thing or two okay. from this straight guy about how to get a gay guy. Um, he uh, he asked to basically, not sure if this is a topic you want to discuss, but how do you feel about straight actors playing gay or transgender? Um, came to mind when I read about ScarJo dropping out of a movie after backlash of her playing a transgender character. And, you know, he goes on to talk about a whole bunch of different ones. Basically, um, now that we're in the 21st century and homosexuality is more accepted... He goes on to talk about fucking, you know, fuck Trump. <laughs> I just feel it's time for more gay trans transgendered actors to play these roles. And uh, especially because, you know, like Call Me By Your Name was a pretty big critical darling. And those were two actors, um, two straight actors playing gay people. And it, when I read this message, some things did come to mind immediately once I read it. Which, what? <laughs> how come every time straight people play gay people... There's always that thought that this this thing that goes around where it's like how how brave of these actors to do that they're they're so brave to play gay people and in some ways I feel like when when we start putting that out there it kind of has this like negative connotation towards it of that it's it's like oh this could potentially ruin your career by playing a gay person and there's there's kind of this like dark thing about it that. I feel like by saying that, it's kind of insulting to a certain degree. I don't know. I can't speak for the gay community, but I kind of feel like it is. I can. John, speak. You can. No, I'm not going to speak oh, for the gay community. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Brian, lead okay, the charge. Um, my initial thought is um, actors wouldn't be actors if they were only playing roles that are me meant for them, right? Yeah. So, like, that's their job. Their job is to be portraying all different types of people and all different types of characters all different types of backgrounds um which is kind of weird when you have the background situation but um they that's their job and i would love to see more people being considered for certain roles and i think that's that's maybe a due diligence on the part of a studio but at the same time like a studio has to make money and so they're going to be looking for someone that's going to help make sell their product. Like you have to think of it as like, I'm buying a product. I am a consumer. I am going to buy a product by going to a movie. Like, am I going to pick this movie, which I kind of, I know about and right. I know the people that are involved in it, or am I going to pick this movie where I don't really know the people, but I'm going to take a chance on it because I, I like what it's presenting to me. So I think you have to think of it from a, from like a product it's a product which product are you going to go for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think that's the mindset of so you're talking about just in terms of who they cast getting more household names um who are right. actors who just happen to be straight it's the same reason why when a musical comes to the screen they don't cast the people that were in the broadway musical even though they we already know that they're awesome like okay. why aren't they cast like, why isn't the cast of Chicago, why weren't they cast instead of Renee Zellweger, who can't sing and can't dance? 
Like that did, mm-hmm. that doesn't make sense in casting to me in terms of someone that loves the musical Chicago. Yeah. Or Pierce Brosnan and Mamma Mia. That was a really terrible casting <laughs> decision. If oh by terrible gosh. you mean terrific. <laughs> <laughs> what are they thinking? Yeah, but yeah, at the same chicks. time. Those those are my thoughts on that. John, your initial thoughts. I mean, my my initial thought on this is, generally speaking, yeah, I feel like straight actors shouldn't be precluded from playing gay or trans characters. On the other hand, though, I think that we're at a place now in time where there's a lot more visibility. It's not as taboo or underground to be gay or transsexual. Mm -hmm. It's still a hot topic, but um, I feel like this is indicative of the fact that we need to start elevating and, uh, you know, giving more opportunities to gay and trans actors because right now... Yeah, it's like, I feel like the landscape ought to be that just any actor should have a shot at that role. The problem right now is that there are just so many less gay and trans actors getting those roles, probably less trans Mm -hmm. actors getting those roles. And I think right now the issue for me is a little harder or a little more, um, uh, you know, lucid for the trans community because they are just on the verge of being recognized by greater society. Uh, More so, like, we've... Gay, the gay community in general, I feel like, has had a bit more time just in the cultural eye to now it's a little less taboo, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like we're still dealing with it. But um, but yeah, it's like, I don't blame Scarlett Johansson for stepping down. I don't think her uh, signing on to play a trans character is as nasty as her signing on to play what should have been an Asian character because that's one thing where I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see how this is kind of, yeah, appropriating something in the wrong way. Um, But yeah, I don't know. In short, I don't think it's bad for straight actors to play gay or trans people because, you know, sexuality is a spectrum, man. I don't don't, don't think it's bad for straight actors to play gay people at all or transgender. Mm -hmm. Actually, last night, uh, for the first time, I watched, uh, and this was just by chance, I watched Dallas Buyers Club for the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jared Leto's performance in that, who is incredible in that film. I totally see why I won the Oscar. And there were times where I thought he was very attractive. It, was, it said something about me. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect time we're doing this video. I hopefully, no, I did tell my girlfriend I thought he was attractive. It's okay. It's mm-hmm. out there now. So anyway, <laughs> um, uh, but wa- watching that, I'm like, well, th- there's that. And I do think, though, that there are a lot of openly gay actors out there now. And I think that more of these roles should be going to them. I think that's the direction I would like mm-hmm. us to go into. There's that famous quote by Ian McKellen talking about how no openly gay man has won an Oscar for acting mm-hmm. yet, but yet there's people who win Oscars for playing gay people and get a lot of awards recognition for playing gay people. And I think it would be, it's like, you know, Crazy Rich Asians came out last year, and so did Black Panther. And they didn't get, like, the most famous Asian people in there. They didn't get the most famous black guy to play Black Panther. But, you know, you just did the right casting. And I feel like more of those opportunities should be given to gay people as well. Like, one of one of my dream projects to see come to life is a movie about it. Is an action movie, an action hero, and he's gay, but we don't put a lot of emphasis on it. You just, like... He's just gay, and that's just a thing about him, but he's not like, mm. we're not playing up like flamboyant qualities. We're putting a lot of emphasis on it. It's just a thing about him. And I feel like Wentworth Miller <laughs> from Prison Break would be a perfect choice for that. Mm. You know, because he has that like very hardcore masculine quality about him. And a lot of people don't even know he's gay, but he is. And I'm like, that'd be mm. cool to see that happen more in that direct. That's kind of what I would want to see is, have you guys seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I have not, but yeah. I've seen clips. The who's do you know the actor who plays the Andre Brower? Yeah, chief, yeah. the chief, uh, the chief of police. Um, I, I like that kind of portrayal. I really like too. Of you know, it's 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 like yeah, his, part of his background is he's gay, but you there's not like all this major emphasis on it, trying to push a point or agenda. Because hmm. I feel like we could use a little bit more of that. But if you're also going to do your movies like Call Me by Your Name or whatever, it would be nice to have more actual, you know, openly gay people play those roles. It would be nice. I think but I also get where you're coming from. What's even more important is the writer's room. And yes. having, like, if you're going to tell a story about a homosexual or a transgender person, like, I really hope that someone of that background wrote that story or it was involved in writing that story instead Mm -hmm. of seeing it through the lens of a straight person. Yeah. Because (laughs) that can be 
you know, it goes other, wrong with women too. Oh, yeah. The other day, I was writing trivia questions for an all-black trivia match for movies, and I was like, "I am a white woman writing these questions. <laughs> like, it doesn't like these are not gonna be very authentic. <laughs> like, I need someone to go over these and look through them and like decide: yeah. is that correct or is that not? Or what are you even writing here? <laughs> yeah. You know? And then you're just like, what just happened? <laughs> so I just. I laugh at certain things because I'm like, I, I really need some help. Get a black here. person for the chat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, oh anyway. man, that's a funny topic. <laughs> I would love to have been there with you. <laughs> See you coming up with questions for Pootie Tang. <laughs> like, yeah. Dolomite. Yeah. <laughs> but then it's like, do am I picking the like more uh, whitewashed um, movies? Right, 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 yeah. I get what like, you're talking about. How many Cleopatra here. Jones questions you get? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't write any of those. <laughs> Anyways. I, I think it was a good call for Scar Joe to step down from the from the transgender role specifically. I see like I, I don't think it's right to get into hating on straight people though for playing these care for playing gay people though. They're just accepting a job. I think yeah, that's exactly. a less hateable offense than than like you know, yeah. whitewashing something, you know. Now, I remember her stepping down from something, but I don't know much about the project. Do you know m more about the project? I was just... That it was... I don't remember specifically. All I know is it's transgender. Mm -hmm. I, th I think just because there's... It's like we, we work in like these increments of movements of things getting mm -hmm. more progressive and more accepting. Because like it was, it's pretty cool that there's been a lot more movies that portray gay people. Mm -hmm. And then now it's like, okay, well, the next stage now is let gay people play those gay people, you know? And like, yeah. that's just the next logical step right there. Let, let, <laughs> let, yeah, let, let pe members of the community author these things. Because I'm not, I, like I said, I can't really speak for the gay community. And I, 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 but I feel like there's something kind of strong with straight people playing gay people be, in, in the beginning because that shows a level of acceptance. But I don't know. What, I mean, what do you guys mm. think of that? Well, I've, I mean, that's an interesting thought experiment to me because, uh, I don't know, there's so many, we still haven't all gotten on the same page about what sexual orientation is and how it works, and so I feel like, hmm, yeah, yeah, the way people point. are able to take on a role, slip into the lifestyle, explore that, you know, do the physical side of it as well, and then come back out, I don't know how well this helps any of these points, but you can kind of use that as an indicator that, yeah, you're not going to catch the gay or something like that, you know, it, it's not... I feel like, I don't know what it says. Well, yeah, because there, there's the backwards view that like, oh, it's a choice or, oh, you know, it's a, it's a kind of genetic mutation or something. There's still backwards people out there. And so I don't know, <laughs> like the fact that people can slip in and out and do these roles and go on with life is kind of indicative of something. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well, I feel like that's about as far as we're going to get on this topic, guys. Hmm. Anything else we'd like to share? To... Um, I, I do want to share, there's a great movie called Camp. It's, I don't know if you like musical theater, but I do. Um, and it ha it portrays transgender kids, gay kids huh. in this um, camp and they go and they, it's a musical theater camp and they go and they perform like different bits of musical theater throughout it. Mm. And it's really great. Anna Kendrick is in it. So that's a familiar face that you'll see, but this came out in early 2000s. I want to say 2001 and it was like a festival, went around the festivals and now you can probably stream it somewhere, but hmm. Loved it. So, looking for representation. <laughs> yeah. See it there. Okay. <laughs> Don't know if those actors were transgender themselves or um, gay or what have you, but they did mm. a great job. Well, I think there is an aspect too of there. There has uh, there has long been at least on the cult side of cinema, you know, like gay cinema, LGBT cinema, and so that still exists today in a kind of smaller portion of the market. So, you know, uh, supporting those movies and seeking out those stories is also something that just helps, you know, because I feel like the more those movies do well or get support, you know, the more breakout or crossover, you know, stars you might see come out of them. Because every time you go to a Lemley, you know, you see a, a wide variety of different movies, different from mm. what you'd see at an AMC. And usually there's something in there for all the different walks of life. So it's not like there is no cinema it's just that, you know, it's not patronized quite as much as, you know, the regular cis white AMC. mainstream stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, get, I, I guess the, uh, I mean, the last thing I want to bring up is the first thing I brought up of, I actually, I think I remember Ellen Page. Was it Ellen Page you talked about? The thing I brought up at the beginning, because when I, when I first read Eric's message to, to me, I was, 
I did think about that, how a lot of the times when straight actors play these gay roles, there's always that talk of, like, such bravery for being a gay guy. I mean, do you, do you kind of wish that conversation would sort of stop <laughs> in, in that direction? There's lots of conversations I wish would stop, I will say. But I get where you're going. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it could be... I mean, the same could be said for someone playing someone that's disabled. Hmm. Like, think, what what makes them brave for that well, portrayal we, as well? Right. It seems like what you're truly saying by saying that is just like, oh, wow, look at that person doing something so different, different than their natural life. You know, yeah. Which, which, yeah, I, I guess that's what I kind of poorly articulated before about, you know, like, straight actors playing gay roles. Like, I don't think it's particularly brave or not brave. I think it's just an exploration of another mm -hmm. side of life that, you know, a lot of people brush with. <laughs> I mean, I'm still on the, f the fence of that. I think the blind community is going to be upset that not enough blind people are playing blind, blind characters. Yeah. Sure. Like hey. Daredevil, <laughs> don't breathe. Because when these blind people watch these movies, it's bad. <laughs> Sorry. There's, they, they do make, uh, they have like things that'll describe the movie to you. There, there are ways for blind people to watch movies, man. <laughs> or to take They're in an they experience they movie. They see themselves being represented. I'm sorry. No blind people are watching. If you're blind, please comment below. And uh, I will publicly apologize on Twitter to all of you. Anywho, guys, comment below if uh, what your thoughts are on this topic. Do you want to see more gay people playing actual gay people? Wait, do I see actual gay people playing gay people? I mean, during that's the, how I should say the question, right? During the movie, I don't want to think about it. But <laughs> <laughs> while reading the movie news, it would be nice. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Yeah. Good point. You guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation, click that notification bell, and also Brianne Chandler. Where can they follow you? Um, Instagram. You can follow me, Miss Underscore Movies. You can check out my archive of shows on YouTube at Miss Movies. There it is. There it is, guys. Thanks for being here, Brienne. You're welcome. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>